Oh, yeah, absolutely. That, anyway, that one I'll let come in. I know it. Yeah, I got to get by. How are you? What's your last name? Uh, Remain Lansford. I think I'm a little bit early for you guys. Lansford, number 14. He's 14. There you go, sir. 14. Yes, oh, uh, um, you'll, you'll need a ticket for tomorrow. Yep, yep. For okay. your significant other. And, Thank you. And uh, this band will suffice. Yep. So you can give her that. Um, the pre-judging starts at 9 a.m. sharp with you. Yep. So I'm going to leave it up to you to get him or her on. Yeah. Okay. And uh, <laughs> pro, the pro man will start the pre-judging and also the finals. Okay. And uh, the finals is 6 o'clock. 6.30, yes, sir. 6.30, yes. I can't believe right. my name's on there. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. See you guys. Good luck to tomorrow, you. okay? Remember, no Greenwich Mean Time, Central Standard Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To check out the stage, check it out right through Yeah, there. yeah, let's kind of look. Right. Thank you. Yeah, thanks again, guys. Good luck. So much. What? <laughs> Who's out there? We like out here. You want to come in? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess so. Just everything, film everything. Alright. I'm behind me and I can speak to anybody. What's up, man? Oh, how are you doing? You cool? Yes, sir. So, are you competing tomorrow? Competing tomorrow. Not yeah. Yeah. Good luck, man. Yes, thank you. Together. Hello. 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 H
sold my hard work off. And uh, hopefully get a good place in today. Ready? Wow. <gasps> wow. You look incredible. So, but I feel like I've, I'm the best I could have been for today. I'm so happy. This is the this is the fun part where you get to uh, HD. You get to get your tan on and see the high definition. Um, tan is very important for the stage. For those of you who know, you would know why. But for those of you who don't, it brings out the details and the shadows um, and the extra shape and just you know kind of highlights the HD high the high definition. Obviously, I want to give a massive shout out to my sponsors Protan who were kind enough to send me a whole range, well their entire tanning range for this show um, and I'm really really appreciative of that because tanning can be bloody expensive so thank you very much guys and I got my number one tanner Lisa tanning me, she tans me for all my shows and she's very good and yeah, I only tan you though yes, yeah, oh yeah, 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 sorry guys Lisa services not are not for hire no, <laughs> this one time we were backstage at the Arnold's as it is, and <laughs> some guy needed tanning. I was like, I'm gonna tan him. She's like, I don't want to touch him. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is not good. <laughs> she hated it. So sorry, guys, tanning services are not available. Nice. All right, we're gonna finish this off. After the show, and I'm in bed with Lise. She's next. Nice. She's next. Nice. She's <laughs> your camera. <laughs> Good times. Um, I just wanted to recap really on the show and how I felt and how it all went. And uh, I had an amazing experience. I'm so glad I came here and so glad I'd done it. Um, and got a chance to stand on stage, step on stage with one of those guys. It wasn't a show I thought would be particularly tough, like one of the top ones, but it kind of ended up being that with six Olympians. Uh, Ended up coming 12th place, which I got in the first round, the pre-judging round, I was in the third call out. They moved me almost to the centre and then into the centre, didn't they? Mm. Second round comes around in the evening and they they put me in the second call out and I was in the middle. So they had moved me almost five places, I guess. But as you guys will know, after the first round of pre-judging, the results are pretty much set. So you would you would know who the top six are. So, um, yeah, 12th place, which disappointed for me, but it's not, it wasn't surprising when I got there and realized the size of these guys. Um, I'm a tall man, I'm six foot one, and the illusion of size needed to create, that you need to create in order to look big on stage is, requires a lot more muscle than what I have at the moment. I've emailed now feedback, and I think he's gonna tell me it's my size. Um, I'm pretty sure, what do you reckon? Yeah. It's just, no, it is. It is. it's just the size and the thickness, and- You've got everything. You have the shape, you have the, you have the physique. 
You have the face. It's well, just... I don't know about that. <laughs> Two years. I've had three months well, six months off of prep. In two years I've competed, and in that time I've competed five times last year, one time this year, and when I met you twice, so that's like eight or nine times, and <laughs> I've had six months off. And that, was, that, that, that wasn't necessarily off because I needed to go on size, just off because there wasn't any shows around to do, and as an amateur, I was forced to keep so small. Let me tell you, you're nowhere near ready for the pro leagues coming off being an amateur in the UK. It's ridiculous. I went pro card in November and got <laughs> back on prep end of December, which I thought was enough size and my body rebounded from being starved on stage last time and I managed to build on quite a solid bit of muscle really compared to how yeah. I did look, but it's no, nowhere near enough, nowhere near enough. The thickness that these guys have got, I, I couldn't believe how big and round everyone was. It was, I knew I did not have what they had. It was crazy. Like, you can't tell from the pictures, can you? And, you know, like I say, there are some smaller pro guys, like, you know, like um, like the top guys, like your Jeremy Bendias, Ryan Terry, Jeremy Potvins, who are small in height and weight. But the illusion of muscle they've managed to build up enough muscle on their frame so that they look the same size as everybody else. Things didn't go according to plan, really, with not not coming here and smashing the show and everything else, but it's been a blessing in disguise. I would never have to tell if I didn't come here. No, you needed that wake-up call. No, that, yeah, I need that wake-up call. Um, you know, just knock me down a few pegs. Uh, Brrr, not, bang! Not in a bad way. <laughs> yeah, but not in a bad no, way. No, definitely like, not. No, it's positive. It's, you're, you're, you're just that con positive person, and you just needed to. Oh, always. It. You just needed. Yeah. The moral of the story is, you're not always going to win them all. You're going to win some, and you're going to lose some, and it's the it's learning how to lose that's going to define a champion. It's learning how to take these knocks. It's things life is always going to go your way, man. This is life. Life doesn't go your way. You need to learn to adapt and take the positives that you can from the negatives and learn and grow from them. Like I've said previously, a, a failure is never a failure if it's taken if you take experience from that and you learn and grow from it. If you just, if you if you take if you take a hit and you stay down, then yeah, you failed. You've you you failed, but you're never a failure if you get up. Uh, and you're never a failure if you move on with that experience and better yourself and become better. Life is one big experience, you know, that you don't become strong without having to go through tough times in life. No 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 matter what it is, you know, you're you don't you're never you're never gonna grow if you're inside your comfort zone. So for me to come here thinking I'm the man and get that result yesterday it's only something I'm going to learn from and grow from and I'm thankful that that happened to me and I'm thankful that I've now got this opportunity to grow a little more in life and become better.